Welcome back. I hope you all had a, a great new year and a, a really good festive period. I wanted to have a quick look at how to set up. I've got a smudge on my glasses. Can you believe it? Hang on. That's better. I wanted to. <laughs> I wanted to look at setting up a Fediverse server, a Mastodon server myself. I've had quite a bit of help with this. Um, Stefano. Marinelli, who graciously invited me to his BSD dot cafe server, which is thank you so much for that. It was very much appreciated. As I said to you in in the post, I, I'm not intending on leaving your server. I just I like to learn, and you never know, the viewers, my viewers, may find this useful if they want to do it themselves. I may open up my own server for viewers if they wish to to do that i don't know yet we'll see we'll see how it goes so let's jump into it and have a look looking through what stefano has put together and he's using jails i'm not going to use jails because this is just my playing around machine if i ever put this onto a, a live environment then i will probably use a jail that would probably be the best way and if you're following along i would suggest looking at his documentation it is very thorough and doing it in a jail whether you want to use bastille or not he uses bastille which makes it nice and neat that's up to you i would i would certainly suggest doing it in a jail though so let's have a quick look at this documentation so there we go, posted on 23 November 2022. Stefano, if I, I butchered your name, I do apologise. English is my only language and I'm not very good at that, so I do apologise. So we're just basically going to run through and we're going to forget the starting the jail and creating the jail. So we will start from the package install. Now, there is a package for installing Mastodon. We're not going to use it. We're going to literally follow along exactly how Stefano has done this. So let's get you out of the way. Sorry about my terminal doing the matrix rain. Digital rain. For some reason, I really like that at the moment. Okay, so we're going to start by installing the packages that Stefano suggests. So there they go. So curl, wget, gnupg, gmake, gitlite, node 16, Yarn, Node 16, PostgreSQL 15, and we can contrib files, Image Magic 7, FFmpeg, AutoConf, Nginx, Redis. Redis has really saved my bacon recently. I was having all sorts of problems with my mail server just falling over, and it was because of the um, Berkeley DB backend, and I switched to using Redis. Way more stable. Um, CertBot. Certbot, Nginx, sudo, rubygem builder, rubygem, posix spawn. So let's get those installed. It's going to install a lot of stuff here, I think. You'll need coffee for this one. Make sure you've got coffee. 141. The only other thing that I've got installed here is Pico Alpine. As you know, my editor of choice suspect I'm going to need it and there we go so let's clear all of that actually we won't do that just yet so let's just make sure we've got the right bits in our rc.conf okay let's clear that so pico minus w forward slash etc forward slash rc.conf now, as you can see, I'm using DHCP, and I will change that. Okay, so that's the three things that we've got for now. So let's initialize the PostgreS PostgreSQL service. There we go. That's that. Let's start the two database services. So we'll start PostgreSQL. 
Oh, there is one other thing that I want to add on this, just so that I can look at it. And that is, I'm just going to enable the all function in uh, syslog. And we'll probably just do the console as well. Console and all. So, when ch mod them both, 600, oh, log, console, and all. Do love the boing. Okay, so now I can tail those to my heart's content and see if anything's going wrong. So let's get into the user Postgres. RDB, yeah. Okay, we're in the database. So create user Mastodon create DB. So I'm assuming this is creating a user and creating the DB of the same name. I'm going to assume that that's done that. PW add user minus M. No, nope, can't do that as that user, can I? Let's go back into root. Let's see what's going on. There we go. Two users. Groovy. Who behave? Okay, so this is where the big dime Charlie stuff starts. Here we go. I haven't done this yet, so I don't know what's going to happen. Haven't run through it to see what happens. Quite interesting. There's no issue with my network, don't give me that. Okay, so that's that. Now let's uh, check out the GitHub Git repository. Or let's clone it and we'll check it out in a minute. Like I said, I'm assuming that all of this is working perfectly. There's even a Docker Compose there if you're using Docker style containers. That's pretty cool. Okay, what's next? Uh, set some shell environment variables. There we go. There's just a couple of commands here which I have absolutely no idea what they do. So we're just going to run through them. I can see why he's run this in a jail. I think that would make a lot more sense instead of messing up an entire install, just mess up a jail. I can, I can see why they do that. Okay, software has been installed. Single user mode disables registrations and redirects the landing page to your public profile. No. Which reminds me. So I know what's going on and it is all to do with the user on PostgreSQL. So I'm going to sort that out and get that done. Gotcha. Okay, so <laughs> once I'd got the, the database name, the username and the password set up, I think we'll be all right now. Admin user? Yes, please. Let's call it admin. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I can power on the Mastodon server, so let's clear that. So lucky for us, Stefano has created a few RC scripts for us, so Let's get them. So let's just go to... Hang on, who am I logged in as? Alright, let's go to user local etc. rc.d Stop boinging at me. <laughs> so we haven't set up Nginx yet, and I will do that in the next video, but I just want to get this bit sorted. So let's get the... RC scripts sorted. Okay, there's the first one. So, the search mod plus X should be the same. Yep. 
Okay, the next one, which is the Mastodon Web. Then one more, Mastodon Streaming. Okay, so there's our three startup scripts. So let's get them enabled. Uh, yes, it is, but we'll do it the other way. It's fine. Yeah, that's why. That's better. <laughs> Helps if you uh, spell things correctly, by the way. Check our RC. There we go. They're all set. So let's get and um, streaming. Lots of Ruby. That's what I would expect to see. Good stuff. So now we should find we've got a Mastodon server running. In the right, so let's go. Who's an O? Really? So, in the dist file directory, going dist. So there's the services that we just enabled. Let's have a quick look at the Nginx configuration, and we'll come back to that another day. Yeah, yeah. So we'll we'll visit that in another day. But essentially, what we've got set up now is our server. Everything is running. The databases are running. They're set. Everything is installed. Everything that needs to be running is running. We just need to come back and conf configure the web services for it. And we'll do that in our next video. For now, we'll leave it there. Like I said, two-parter, so the next one will come next week. Stick around, because I think this is going to be quite interesting. But definitely, I can see why you'd want to do this in a jail. Don't forget to, to like, subscribe share the whole kit and caboodle and uh the discord server linked down there gone a bit quiet again come on guys let's get some uh some discussions going anyway for now we'll leave it there and uh take care and i'll see you next time bye bye <laughs>